I can find the area and perimeter of composite shapes using rectangles, parallelograms, triangles, and circles. So our first question says that Joe made a model of a door out of a piece of cardboard. The amount of cardboard used for this square bottom is in the model shown. How much cardboard did he use in all? So I have to figure out what the area of that semicircle is. So I'm going to find the area of a circle. So I'm going to do 3.14. And then the radius is half, so I get 14, and I'm going to square it. So in my calculator, I'm going to do 3.14 times 14 times 14. And I get 615.44, and that's going to be inches squared. The problem is that's a whole circle, and I only want half the circle. So I still need to divide that by 2. And I get 307.72. But that isn't the whole shape of the door. That's not what they were asking for. They want to know what the whole door is. So I take 784 and I'm going to add it to my 307.72. and I get a total of 1,091.72 inches squared. That's how much cardboard he used, or the area of the cardboard he used. All right, the next one, they want the area of the composite shape. So I have a rectangle and a circle. So six times four is 24 centimeters squared. So then I have to find the area of my circles. So I have pi times the radius squared. So 3.14 times, it's not 4, it's going to be 2 squared. So 3.14 times 2 times 2 is going to give me 12.56 centimeters squared. So then I'm just going to add these together. So 24 plus 12.56. And I get a total of 36.56 centimeters squared. All right, so the next one is asking me to find the perimeter. Well, remember, the perimeter is just going to be the outside. So I'm actually looking for the circumference of two different circles, and they're giving me the diameter. So I have C equals pi times D, and then I'm going to do the other circle. I'm going to mark that in yellow. C equals pi times D. So C, oops. So C equals 3.14 times 4 and I get C equals 12.56 and it's going to be inches not inches squared because we're talking about a distance then I'm going to find the circumference of the other one so C equals 3.14 times 7 this time so 3.14 times 7 gives me a circumference of 21.98 inches. So I haven't found the total yet. I have to add those together. So 21.98 plus 12.56, I get a total of 34.54 inches. Remember, it's a measurement, so I'm not squaring it. All right, the next one says, what is the area of this shape? So I have a rectangle, and then I'm missing a semicircle. So I'm going to find the area of the rectangle first. So I'm going to do 9 times 4.5, and I get 40.5. So then I've got to find the area of a half of a circle with a diameter of 5. So pi times radius squared. 3.14 times 2.5 squared. So 3.14 times 2.5 times 2.5, and I get 19.625.
But remember, that's going to give me a whole circle. I only want half. So I still need to divide that by 2. And I get 9.8125. So now, and that's going to be centimeters squared. So now, because they're different colors, that's the best way I can think about it, or that's the part that's missing, I'm going to subtract. So I have 40.5 minus 9.8125. And I end up with 30.6875, and it's going to be centimeters squared. Then they want to know the perimeter of the shape. All right, so I'm going to erase this junk right here. And let's think about what that's going to do to our perimeter. So I'm going to change colors. So I have a 9. So if this part's missing, 9 minus 4 is 5. So this has to be 2, and this has to be 2. And this side over here is going to be 4.5. And then I just have to find this arc. So I'm using circumference. So C equals pi D, C equals 3.14 times 5, so 3.14 times 5, I get 15.7, but the problem is that's a whole circle. I only want half, so I have to still divide by 2. So I end up with this part being 7. 0.85. Then I'm just going to add up all my sides. So 9 plus 4.5 plus 2 plus 7.85 plus 2 plus 4.5. And I get a total of 29. 0.85 centimeters. It's not centimeters squared because I'm only finding the distance around the outside. All right, so now they want us to find the, the approximate total distance around the outside of the pool. So I know this is going to be 4, this is going to be 4, this is going to be 8. So now I have to find the circumference around the outside of this circle. So my diameter is 8, so C equals pi, not 8, 4. So C equals 3.14 times 4, 12.56. So um, just imagine it being on half of it being over here and half of it being over here. So now I just have to add it up. So 8 plus 4 plus 12.56 plus 4 plus 8, plus 4, and then I already used this, so plus another 4. All right, holy Toledo. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4s. So I have, what, 16 plus, and then 8, and 8 makes 16, plus 12.56. I'm adding it in my head in advance because I worry that when I try and put all that into the calculator, I'm going to mistype something. So I end up with 44.56 meters. I think I would really like this swimming pool because you can enter here, it looks like an enter here. So, and it's a distance, so it's not going to be squared. All right, the last one, the figure below is made up of a rectangle and a semicircle, and they're going to ask you to find either the area or the circumference. Make sure you read carefully in the, in the question. If you need help, you're going to go on Khan Academy. There's some extra practice there. There's a study buddy, and you can always set up an appointment with me on Calendly. I would love to work with you. Have a great rest of your day.